Hey guys, it's Lumini here, and today um, is just going to be a quick update and stuff. Um, this is an update on my potato plant, which has definitely grown a lot. Its leaves have gotten much bigger, and it has roots down there. Um, I'm still thinking about the name, but Strecken Reptiles did uh, give me a suggestion, and the name uh, the name suggestion is Roberto, I believe, which is a nice name for a potato plant. So I'm considering that name. But yeah, that's an update on the potato plant. Um, next update is actually about lemon. So I've been kind of like, I, I'm not sure if she's like really fat and stuff, but I, I feel like she might be a little bit overweight. Oh, she's not in there. I'm just gonna try to show you her if she's somewhere. Oh, there she is. Okay, so there's lemon. Um, and I will be showing you a closer uh, overview of her in a all Right, so here is Lemon in all her glory. Um, as you can see, she, she just can't move around as agilely as she used to be able to. Um, she looks pretty chunky. And this is her compared to my hand. She moves a bit slowly. She does have those nice fat rolls. Or not nice, they, they're pretty fat. And her thighs are squishy, meaning there's fat on there instead of muscle. Um, it's also a common sign when there are armpit bubbles that um, the gecko is overweight. And also, I don't know if you can, like, she'll make this weird sound when she's trying to get, like, back into her cage. I'm not sure... Yeah, she's not making it right now, but it's a weird little noise that she makes. It's like chirping, but louder, kind of. Um, but if you guys have any advice, I am going to be switching her diet from mealworms and uh, superworms and waxworms to just mealworms, dubia, roach, dubia, dubia or dubia, I can't, I, I don't remember, roaches, um, and crickets so that it's more healthier and kind of tones down the fat intake a bit. Um, I, I'm wondering if maybe she's ovulating, so that's why she's a bit fatter. I'm not sure, but if you guys have any tips on that, I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, also another update is I did get that. I've been meaning to get it for quite a while now when I finally have it. So, thankfully, that's monitoring the heat and or just the warm side, and it's up. It's it's the correct heat. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit more about what's been going on, and um, we'll move on to the next little update. All right, so here's another cool thing. Um, this is this is like the space under the water dish. It's the most humid area. Um, this is where my isopods hang out. I'm not sure if you can see them right now, but they're like extremely tiny. And um, there's some of them around there. I don't know if you can see them. But then there's also this, which was a super worm uh, that Lemon apparently missed. And it kind of dug itself a hole. It doesn't really look like a hole, but it's a little bit deeper in real life than it looks like on camera. But it's right there. It's in its pupa stage. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, so I thought I'd show you that. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of any other updates. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you lime in a, in a second. All right, so here's Lime's tank. As you can see, there's no huge cliff thing or big rock arch thing that I was going to make because I put it in Lime's tank. It was all done, all finished, and I came back like an hour later and I would just check and make sure everything was fine. And the vapor, apparently, like the uh, sealant that I used, apparently, it, like the vapor was so strong, I didn't want it to hurt lime, especially since lime is just a baby. So I took it out. Um, it said that it would, or uh, the video that I was watching that showed me how to do this said it was safe, but I just didn't want to use it for lime. So that's a little update. I probably will be using that arch in something someday because. I don't want to waste the supplies that I bought, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the update video. Once again, thank you so much, Dragon Reptiles, for editing these videos. It takes them quite a while, and um, 
I just really want to thank him for taking time to do that since I'm a terrible editor. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you so much for 61 subscribers, or 62, sorry. Um, and I will see you next time. The night.